This area around Lake Turkana is one of the most important cradles of humankind in the world. And here in this geological formation called the Kubifora Formation, paleontologists have found some of the earliest and best evidence of our early human ancestor called Homo erectus. In fact, this spot marks the spot where one of uh, the, these early Homo erectus um, fossils was found. It was a mandible or a jawbone. Here we have examples of the three species that lived alongside each other for about half a million years from about 1.9 to 1.4 million years ago. And these include Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and Paranthropus boisei. Now these hominins are quite different from each other, particularly what we see is an ev evolutionary trend towards different specializations in these hominins. So for example, Paranthropus boisei evolves a very powerful chewing anatomy with uh, a buttressed face and really large attachments for the muscles and extraordinarily large teeth. These are adaptations to be able to power through food. In Homo erectus what we see is a very different trend where the teeth evolve to be smaller, uh, the face is smaller, the muscle attachments for, the, for chewing are actually quite a bit smaller. So the entire complex for chewing becomes really lightly built. But at the same time, we see adaptations in the hand for manual dexterity and making tools. And so uh, this suggests that Homo erectus was learning how to power through foods with tools, their hands, and probably at some point cooking, being able to cook and process foods so that they're easier to eat with a lightly built face. And so eventually, um, Homo erectus survives when the others go extinct and uh, it, it seems to be, at least in part, this complex of how to acquire their foods um, and Homo erectus evolves a really large brain that uh, makes it clear that they had increased cognitive capabilities and almost certainly some change in social structure. And finally, there's also evidence of uh, that Homo erectus had longer legs and adaptations for long distance travel, including long distance walking and running. Um, uh, so it may be some combination of these or other ideas uh, that, that led to the success of Homo erectus. But to test these ideas, we need more research in places like here uh, in the Kubifora Formation. <laughs>